T to the O to the B to the Y to the Toby. Wait, why am I called Toby today? I am not called Toby. I am Monkey. Good afternoon, you absolute lovelies. Welcome to a beautiful England Shire. It's the, well, it's coming up to the Easter bank holiday weekend. It's going to be 22 degrees this weekend, so Trez excited. As you can probably guess, Mr. Monkey likes the old sunshine. What am I doing today? Today's a bit of a sort of cheeky little vlog. Um, I thought I'd just give you guys an update of what's going on. I'm off to see me old mucker, Mr. Billy Hoskins. He's done the main hoop now on my JZX 100 Mark II. Um, and he's asked me to come down. I've got a bride, can't show you because I'm driving, but I've got a bride passenger subframe. Um, obviously to go on the passenger side to get my bride recliner fitted so I can get you guys nice and comfortable for passenger rides. And I'm also gonna go down there and he's just gonna measure up me and get my seating position right for the, for the cage. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop down and see lovely Mr. Billy. I wanna say a massive thanks to some of the new patrons we had this week. We had five new guys come on board, so massive thanks for supporting the channel. Really couldn't do it without you guys. We had Martin, we had SBS1, we had Dan Brown, we had Michael Rickards, uh, Kevril Kennedy and Jack Brown as well. Hopefully you guys will realise by now that on Patreon we've got a whole sort of big thing going on the back end. There's loads of members on there now and we're always talking sort of daily on Discord, chatting and sort of showing off our cars and all our bits and bobs. Yeah, if you, if you want to support the channel and make that little bit, little bit extra difference, um, feel free to check out my Patreon down here. Quick little update on what I've got going down next week. Obviously we've got the third instalment of the Calibra coming up where I think we're gonna be fitting some new green LED neons to it to sort of get it back to back to where it was. Obviously I picked up that S14 a couple of days ago. I haven't done a video on it quite yet, but I'm gonna take the car up to Scouses tomorrow and have a good look over it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty exciting because that is a pretty, pretty pimp spec car. The S15 is still down at Dave's at um, SMV, just getting all the paintwork sorted out. Dave's been sending me quite a lot of pictures. If you check out my Instagram, um, you can see a few updates on the car and all the stuff he's been doing. So yeah, massive thanks to Dave. He's gone to, he really has gone to town on the car. Mrs. Monkey's S15 is also looking pretty cool. We got the new bits for her LSD last week. After that, all we've got to do is modify the external wastegate pipe. At the moment, it sort of goes back into the exhaust. We want to make it into a screamer pipe. And then we need to get the car mapped by Martin MB Automotive. Once that is done though, uh, Mrs. Monkey should be good to go. The BMW E30 is on the back burner for a little bit. Uh, we will get a chance probably later in the year just to crack on with that and do the engine swap. There's not actually a massive amount of work on that either. I think the most complicated bit's gonna be the, the loom, because I think um, the chap we got it from said that the loom was a little bit problematic when he had it in his Beamer, but we will get round to doing that. Hopefully, what we know, April, I'm thinking probably end of next month or early June we'll start that. Um, yeah, we've got quite a few sort of projects in front, but we'll do our best this year to kind of get everything ready and on the road so next year we can have a, a bit more of a party. All that leaves is the JZX 100, which I'm obviously off to do today with, with Billy. Um, once the seating position is all decided, he can pretty much crack on with the cage. I think it'll probably take him another three or four days to finish it. Um, and then, yeah, once it's finished, we can pick the car up, take it up to Dave's to get painted and pretty much crack on. Anyway, I thought it'd be nice to give you guys a sort of a little bit of a, a talking update to what's going on. I should be at Billy's in about 45 minutes approximately. Um, so yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys down there very soon. Monkey likes a good old sing song. Um, as with any monkey adventure, many fuel stops are required. Yeah, with you and... We got any red chili pepper fans in the house? This CD actually came with the van, but I do like it, I must admit. I need to get a glove, because I'm a wet lad. All right, one of those. Cha-ching! <laughs> Twenty quid for the win. The less fuel you got, the faster you go. Oh, good! I have just arrived at Mr. Billy's. As always, a mad array of cars outside waiting for custom fabrication. Oh, look at that! That's that little. I'm sure that's got an SR20 in it. I think it's like a not a Fagaro. It's a a Payo or 
pay a part off. Go on, guys, I'll ask Billy. That is Billy's daily. He's got a S13. Pretty mad looking Rocket Bunny S15. I'll stop jangling the keys. Obviously waiting for a bit of a bit of cage work. It's got some pretty gnarly SSRs on it. Look at this. Hyundai Pony. Pretty sure Billy was saying this is one of the only one in the country. Hyundai Pony. Everyone loves a pony. Obviously 350Z. We've got an S14. Oh, look at that sticker. Sick. Mm. Nom 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 nom. Mr. Barnes knows the score. Very nom nom. Ye old patron. Look at this mad little thing. I'm pretty sure this has got an SR20 hiding underneath the bonnet. What is this thing? I think it's like a called it a payo or something. Well, uh, it's definitely not a Figaro because they're the little ones. Oh, there you go. There you go. Payo. Nissan Payo. Um, yeah, pretty mad looking car this. Looks like it doesn't particularly probably go very fast, but I'm pretty sure it does go pretty fast. As you can see in the back, it's got a fuel cell. Bucket seats in the front. Look at that, man. Pink Ray-Bans. This is pretty cool. I'll try and get this on the channel. I'm not sure who owns this, but if you know the owner or you are the owner, feel free to send me a message on the Facebook page if you'd like to do a cheeky little review. Anyway, enough gassing. We'll go and see the main man himself. Knock, knock. As we can see, one JZX100. Definitely looking a lot more roll cagey than when I left it. Um, yeah, Billy's obviously started work. Everything's looking pretty sick. One thing to note is quite how um, how close he gets all the all the pipe work to the frame of the car. Pretty sick. How are you finding it, Bills? Yeah, it's easy going. Just yeah. Make sure seats in the right place. Yeah. So the purpose today is to really get me sitting in there. First things first, we're just going to do a little trial fit. Hopefully, I can actually fit in this seat. I've got slightly childbearing hips. Oh, there we go. Right. Can I go a little bit forwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, forwards is better for me. That's good for me then. That's probably where I drive. Yeah, I'd say that was about right, as long as I can get full extension on the John pedal. Yeah, should be good, yeah. That's probably your limit. Okay. Well, as long as I don't go and eat too many bananas, <laughs> I shouldn't get any longer. No. Um, but yeah, I mean, that as it is, is too far for me. So if that's the amount of adjustment we've got, then yeah, that's good. Cool. Very good. And that means if I get any lanky buggers that want to have a go, yeah. Um, it means they can at least fit. Well, I'm like James Dean or someone, you never know. Come and have a sit in it, Billy. I'm I'm six foot, Billy's six two, so he's a little bit taller than me. So as long as Billy can drive it, we should be good for most people. Unless you're really lanky, then you're That's about me. Yeah, you've got quite long legs as well, you? God, I've got them f***ing long legs, man. Get all the girls wet, you will. <laughs> I'll hold 2% of subscribers that are girls. <laughs> That's the seating position all sorted. Billy's happy with where I want to sit. If we quickly check out some of the cage work he's done. Obviously early days at the moment, still quite a few bits to do, but it's definitely looking lovely and snug. Billy is pretty famous for getting the cages really, really tight to the body, which is obviously imperative for rigidity and for safety. These are all the box sections. Obviously that's the old, that's the original plate that was on the old cage and that's the new uh, box section. Billy will obviously weld all around that and smooth it all off so it looks Fabulous. In the back, we're going to be getting a X brace across here, which will look pretty, pretty gnarly. One thing I did forget to mention to Billy is the rear floor. Obviously, we need to get a sheet, a bit of sheet metal across here and get it all welded in, but he is going to do it for me because he's an absolute legend. We love him. So, yeah, please make sure you follow Mr. Hoskins. He needs all the love we can give him. We're going to be putting my bride recliner on this side purely for the fact that I've actually got a bride recliner. I didn't have a, a bride bucket seat. Um, but yeah, this car isn't going to be predominantly a drift car. It's going to be used more for sort of show purposes. So not an issue having a recliner seat. At present, the car's looking a little bit naked. Um, we do have a stock bumper. I'm going to try and get some canards and stuff at the back. Obviously, the side skirts and the front bumper are all at Garage 21. Um, but yeah, once Billy's finished here, we'll get the car up to Dave's, get all the inside and the cage painted, and then back to Garage 21 to finish it off. And uh, yeah, then some duggets. Billy's also told me that that Nissan outside is called a PAL, not a PAO. Is it PAL? I was told PAL. He was told PAL. We think it's called a PAL. If it's not a PAL, let us know in the comment sections. But yeah, it's P-A-P-A-O. Billy's just gonna go and grab the keys now. It's pretty mad, this car. Be quite nice to see sort of how tight the SR is in there. He was telling me it only weighs 750 kilos and it's got 250 horsepower. So probably about 300 brake per ton. Car, look at that. That is a tight squeeze, isn't it? Jesus. 
Let's see a proper little SR20 DET. I'm not sure what turbo he's running. It's got an actuator, I can see. Pretty cool, this man. This little beast has a full S13 running gear, so rear wheel drive and mega, mega short wheelbase. Um, what's also interesting, she's also got S15 Rocket Bunny arches. <laughs> That's mad. It's quite cool because I've always seen this car at car shows, but I've never had a really good look inside it. Oh, look at that. Pink, can I put his pink Ray-Bans on? Sorry if these are your glasses, but they do look pretty funky. Woo! Yo, everybody! <laughs> These are cool, man. Love your glasses. Put mine back on. That's better. This car just gets crazier and crazier. It's actually got an S14 dash in it, which is mad. Where are the signatures from? Like Japan, I take it? No idea. Yeah, it's got, I mean, this car is obviously a Japanese import, so a lot of heritage. This is a bit of a monster as well. What did Sam do to it? Uh, put it in a ditch. <laughs> Sam did a drift with a ditch. Sounds like, sounds like man after my own heart. You guys will probably remember before that Billy had this ST205 uh, GT4 in here. He's already started doing some of the roll cage, as you can see up there. Obviously the famous 3S GTE up front. Yeah, nice looking car this. Getting rarer and rarer, these old beasts. Synonymous with the old twin headlights up front. Mr. Billy, love you and leave you. See ya. This bump. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little vlog and I will see you all tomorrow.